We're going to do a button hold cable chain. But to be able to do that, you need to be able to do the cable chain. And those of you that were with me in Stitching Society last year already know how. But I'm going to do a quick review. We're going to work on a line. It does not have to be a straight line. I'm going to start by coming up on the right side. That's because I'm right-handed. If you were left-handed, you would work the other way. I'm going to hold my working thread up and put the needle in front of it wrap the thread over the top of the needle and back up and then I'm going to take a very I'm going to go down a short distance away from where I came up I'm going to travel forward under the line and then bring the needle back up on the line don't pull it all the way through yet now before we do anything else be sure to pull those wraps up on the needle we don't want them loose at this point then we're going to wrap our working thread under the tip of the needle and now we can pull through. Okay, so there's our first link. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to hold my working thread up, put my needle in front of it, wrap the thread up and over the top of the needle. I'm going to go down a short distance away. So it should be about what you're doing here, what you did at this very first one. I'm going to scoop up the fabric so I'm traveling underneath it and then coming out further along to the left on the line. Do not pull all the way through. We're going to wrap, make sure that our wraps are pulled up on the needle. And we're going to wrap our thread under the tip of the needle and now pull through. So what you're getting is like a chain where you have links on the side and then the links that are facing you. So again, I'm going to hold my working thread up, put my needle in front of it, wrap the thread over the top of the needle down a short distance away, travel under the fabric with my needle, pull my wraps up on the needle, wrap my thread under the needle tip, and pull through. Again, thread held up, needle in front of it, wrap it over the top of the needle and then come up behind, go down a short distance away, Travel under the fabric with my needle, come up further down on the left on the line, pull the wraps up on the needle, wrap my working thread under the needle, and pull through. And I will do that however long I want to make my chain. When I'm finished, I'm going to just take my needle down and make a short straight stitch at the end. I'm going to make this longer for my demo for later. All right, I'm switching thread colors just so you can see it better on camera. You do not have to. You certainly can if you want to. I'm going to now work from left to right. I'm going to come up under the, the chain on the left hand side. I have switched to a tapestry needle. And now I'm just going to work blanket stitches in the bigger lengths of the chain. So you know how to do our buttonhole really because these are right next to each other and of course the bigger the links the more stitches it's going to take to fill in and you do want to scoot them up so they're right next to each other I think I can go one more when I finish with this link I'm just going to skip over to the next one so I skip this one that's flat in here and come over to this one. And I stitched the chain on this one with a number five pearl cotton and now I'm using a number eight. So you can certainly play with your threads. It's gonna be easier at first if you have a nice stable thread. But after that, if you want to go to something more delicate, after you've got the hang of it, you certainly can. Because we are not going through the fabric other than when we start and end. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing that. I skip over to the next big chain. 
and I will just stitch all the way down to the other end and when I get to the other end I'll just take my thread down behind the chain to finish it off. My orange chain has been buttonholed on one side and I can stop there if I want to or I can just rotate my work and come back up the other side exactly the same way. So it's just continuing on with my buttonhole. Stitch. And if I had matched the thread that I'm doing the buttonhole stitch with to my background, to my chain thread, then I wouldn't have a little bit of orange showing through. But maybe you want that. So there's one and I would just hop over the next one. keep stitching to fill in all those chains. So one side or two sides, that's one option. Sorry I was moving off the camera. Do a little bit more. I'm running out of thread so Go over to the next one. And it's just buttonhole stitches to fill in the whole chain link. So that's two-sided. I finished stitching my cable chain with the buttonhole stitch and I did that one on both sides. I wanted to show you another option. So I'm still, I've already stitched my cable chain. I have, I'm using my tapestry needle and I'm going to stitch my buttonhole. And this was Probably a mistake, I switched to a size 12 pearl cotton, which means it'll take even longer to fill in that chain. Not chain, I'm sorry, buttonhole stitch. But I'm filling in the link. It barely shows that it's a buttonhole either, but that's okay. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to alternate which one I'm on. So I came on this side, and I want to switch over and do this side on this one. So I slide my needle under that connecting link. And if it's easier for you, you can rotate your work. You are going to be able to, need to be able to do the buttonhole either from right to left or left to right with this work. Right to left or left to right. And then I just do the next link. And when I get this link filled in, again, I'm going to slide my needle under that connecting link stitch, not the oval shaped ones, the one that looks like a straight stitch, rotate back around. And fill in the next one. So all you're doing differently here is sliding under that connecting stitch to get to the other side. So it will just be buttonholed on one side and it's alternating back and forth between the two sides.